Only one change for the Swans today. Tyler Dickinson remains in goal with a fullback pairing of Harry Pointing and Owen Bolger. Centre back pairing of Mitchell Goff and Joe Hicks. In midfield, it's Jake Frailing and Anis Nur with an attacking front three of Eddie Simon, John Gilbert, and Alex Kelly. And up front, leading the line, it's Ibrahim Olatade. On the bench, it's Arsenal Kai, Harry Mills, Oli Allen, Ritega Adenoji, and Joe Prattley Jones. And uh, looks like Gosport are going to opt for the long throw. Uh, long kick, sorry. Oh! And uh, yeah, that's probably the first chance of the game has gone to Gosport from a set piece. Anyway, Frailing with the ball in. Oh! Missed everyone. Sort of evaded both Ibs on the head with the header and Eddie coming up behind with the volley. It's just out for a goal kick. Tell you what, John Gilbert is looking lively today. Yeah. He's getting close to New oh, Year. He's coming alive now, isn't he? Tidy from Frailing there. Anis Owen looking for the ball in. It's low. It looks like every, ever since we've messaged him, it, uh, mentioned him, it, the ball just seems to be going to Joe Morrison every Anis time. Anis can hit them from here, it does. Ooh. And it's spilled by the keeper, but just about stays off the line. That ball was moving in the air and nearly caught the Gosport keeper out. Final home game of 2023 today, 26th and final game. I think we've had some pretty special ones, it's safe to say. Yeah, look, I mean, if we're, if we're talking highlights. Oh, Frailing loses out. Gosport could be in. Yeah. Gosport yeah. in. Dan Wooden, it looks like, has put that away, and it's honestly really poor from the Swans at the back, who just gave it away far too cheaply. Yeah, I think, look, it's the nature of the way we play. We've seen it time and time again. Uh, it is susceptible to to a mistake or two and uh, we have made a mistake and, and Gosport have punished us. Probably trying to catch us and they have done. Frailing does well but Gosport have another attack here and they have the ball at the back post. There's this a chance to make it. could score again. And Miscommunication does. there between points and uh, Tyler. It's a Gosport corner. Gosport very much on top in the last few minutes. I mean, every single team now knows that if, if they press against us, they're going to force a mistake or two. It's just whether they capitalise on it or not. See, Dorchester last week had about 15 chances they could have scored from, but didn't score from any. Gilbert Damn has a strike, that. beaten away by the Gosport keeper. wonder if uh, Hingy's here today. Gospel take. Oh, that's a good free Just kick. Just over the bar. That's a good free kick. There it is. Points finds Olatade and it's Nurse also Nurs. there. Olatade can go, go alone. alone. He's caught onto his left foot. Oh, he gets a shot away, but it's quite timid into the keeper's arms. But it was some good work. Gilbert's over this. Men in there. Towards the middle of the box. Oh, and it's just wide. I think it was Eddie Simon's head. Yeah, it was Eddie. But the keeper was caught in no man's land. And that was a big chance. <laughs> oh, it's Jake again. And it looks like Gosport one on one with the goalkeeper. And Gosport have doubled the lead. Yeah. Just like the Merthyr game. 2-0, five minutes before half time. Swan's caught napping yet again. Um, again, like, it's just a bad touch, isn't it? A lot of the Swan's players are confused as to asking for a foul on Alex Kelly there. Yeah, it was a loose touch from Frailing. It's been caught out again. If it's over... I think, yeah, they're not going to jump, I don't think. Yeah, but if he can get it up and down, it's going to be really tough for Tyler. Oh, if he gets it up and down from here, like, fair play. Oh my word. That's deflected onto the bar. I think the Swans are going to have to survive until half time here. Gosport coming forward again. Ball in. Oh, and, and that's over. it. It's 3 0. Dan Wooden's got his hat trick before the half time whistle, and that very much is curtains. Uh, again, there's 45 minutes left of the game. Why are you saying that? But it's 3 0. And uh, the Swans have a big, big job in this second half. 
Right, Gosport send the ball forward and Mitchell Goff wins the header, but it's back in Gosport possession and the flick on is the eight is round, Harry pointing and ooh. Gosport still posing a threat, but listen, if, if the Swans are gonna try and get back into this game, they're gonna have to keep committing more men and they are gonna concede chances here. Oh, what a save from Tyler Dickinson. What a double save from Tyler Dickinson. That is unbelievable. Alex Kelly trying to drive in the heart of the Gosport team. Bolger whipping it in. Oh. It hits Olatade, but it just can't find its way into the net. Great ball from Bolger down the left hand side. Here we go. Oh my word, what a save. What a save. That's unbelievable. And I think that was it. That was the chance to try and claw something back. But that save was just out of this world. Oh no, Gosport one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper here. And it looks like it's gonna be game set and match at 4-0. That is it for Gosport. Leaving with all three points. I think at this stage, Owen Bolger does see red and probably something that uh, I guess at this scoreline is probably was a bit unnecessary there. I know that he's desperate to impress as a youngster and really doesn't want to, but unfortunately, straight red. And that's it, full time. And uh, it's on to Boxing Day. That's, that's all we can say. A 4 0 loss here. And uh, <clears throat> we move. Here with the manager, Scott Harris. Not our day at the office today. Do you think that was a fair reflection, the scoreline today? Yeah, probably ended up, probably ended up being so at the end. Um, you know, in, in, its, in its own way. Uh, Obviously, you know, Gosport have come and, and played well. They've come and played well, but you know, anyone that was obviously here watching the game or, or watches it back later on will obviously see that we were sort of uh, the uh, creators of our own downfall a little bit there. Um, I think it's why there are moments where, when you've come as far as we have with, with it, you've got to almost sort of say, Look, you live by the sword, die by the sword. You know, it, it's. It's brought us enough success over time, uh, playing the way we do. Um, and when you do that, you sort of open the open the door to losing games or losing goals in a fashion that maybe isn't available to other teams. You know, there's other teams that aren't going to get caught round their own box uh, like that because they don't, you know, allow it to happen. They don't entertain the idea of of connecting passes in that area. And funnily enough, in the first half hour or so, I thought we'd done really well. We'd done really well. And you, you can sort of, uh, you know, I'm not putting words in, in the Gosport guys' mouths here, but I, I would imagine they were probably thinking we'll do well to get a result here, the way the, way the game was going at that point. We, I, I was really pleased with how we'd started. Um, and then, yeah, one, one mistake there, probably around the sort of half hour mark, I think it felt, something like that. Um, and then it was sort of downhill from there, really, um, which is a shame because... I don't really think it was huge margins, but it, it was enough to dent some people's confidence for the next sort of 10, 15, 20 minutes. And then uh, obviously it's quickly become 3-0 at half time. Mm. Uh, 
which yeah, listen, we said it, we said at the at the break, you know, we back ourselves to to dig ourselves out of holes. This was a big one, but if we could have got a goal early in the second half, then um, you know, game on. But it might sound funny to again to say this, but again, maybe someone that, someone that was here today would probably agree. Um, I think the first half was actually a better shine than the second. You know, despite the fact that we lost that half three 0 in the second half one mm. nil, uh, I don't don't really take too much out of that second half with with much uh, much happiness, really. To be honest, um, their their keeper could have come and sat with us for half an hour at the start start of the half there, uh, and then obviously from then on you're playing against the clock, and I don't think Gosport's comfort level ever sort of dropped really in the second half, if I'm honest, and. Yeah, no, well done to them. Well done to them. I mean, even when we had ten men, they they didn't uh, they didn't shy away from their plan. They you know they sat and waited for us, and yeah, they got the fourth one at the end. Which yeah, well, you know, fair play. Yeah, as you kind of allude to, a lot of self-inflicted wounds today. Mm. Are these things that can be addressed in a short space of time, or are they things that might take at least a few weeks or a month to really kind of iron out and you know become comfortable with? Yeah, I mean. The players, the players will tell you. I mean, it's we're on top of these things all the time, um, always trying to trying to correct and trying to improve on, on all of it. Um, and there's, like I say, there's certain elements that that we sort of have to work on that other teams don't. Mm. Um, and we're constantly sort of on top of it. Some days, though, the execution is is incorrect. And yeah, you, you hold your hands up and say, "Well done to the other team as well for for forcing mistakes, which they're there to do." Mm. Uh, but yeah, listen. There's every chance we go out in the next game, and everything everything clicks well. You know, there's no no two games are the same. I don't I don't really feel it's been like a, a problematic part of our game for a good few weeks now. Really, um, just yeah, they were they were also really uh, clinical in the way that they dispatched the opportunities that that they uh, they got presented. So again, well done to them on that. I mean, it was pretty ruthless there, uh, and. Yeah, I think the third one, just before half time, sort of obviously, you know, puts the nail in. Killer, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in the coffin, really, for for most games, three 0 at half time. But yeah, if we could have got one and, and got a bit of momentum and got the crowd involved, then then it could have been different. But you know, you look to them sort of situations, and I actually felt felt bad almost really as much them feeling sorry for ourselves I felt bad towards the people that was here today you know mm. supporting us because you look at these days it was another another decent crowd you know holiday uh, season mm. and you just sort of hope I hope they come back do you know what I mean you get those you get those instances where you sort of think I hope we haven't lost a couple of people today because we've lost at home 4-0 yeah. you know um, hopefully people can sort of see past you know games like, like this and, and think big picture and and how much that they've been sort of entertained here over the over the course of a you know good period of time. Mm. We just come back for the next home game on New Year's Day and try again. Another tough game against a good team on on that on that day. And obviously in between that we've got Bracknell. Mm. Not the result the Swans are after today. We'll be back on Boxing Day, Tuesday, 3 p.m. away to Bracknell Town. We'll see you guys then.